Hello, it's me Harley back at it again for yet another video and today I am back somewhere I never thought I was going to come because we were scammed big time last time we came here and that's Charmwood Alpacas. If you want to know the drama about our situation last time I'll give a link to the video but if it wasn't for the fact that I was given this as a present I would not be here right now. Um, I was given a gift of um, walking with alpacas Unfortunately, it's here again instead of the place that I'll be going with my mum in two weeks' time. So, here we are. Now, before I continue, I must say something. I have actually been to this second alpaca walking location, and I can tell you it is by far a much better place. While on this particular walk, I saw quite a few alarm bells, and I'll explain to you why they alarmed me. Alarm bells that the second location I went to did not have. Something I must say before I continue is that I'm going to be expressing some of my own opinions. I am not claiming this company performs any form of animal abuse. I'm just saying that if I was running this company, I'd be doing some things very differently. Sweetie, oh, and you got this. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're quite a small little kitty. Oh, she wants to say hello, Dad. Hello, Dad. Hello, alpacas. Hello. How are you? That one's weeing, I know. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you still weeing there? Yeah. My oh, hey, gosh, you needed that, didn't you? <laughs> Hello, little ones. And buy some goats and alpacas and then have like um alpaca and goat yoga classes. Dad? Why not? Hello. That's a yes. That's a nice coloured one, that brown one. Yeah. Hello. That's not the finishing point for you. I'm not paying a pound for them normally. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It was at this point that I found out the alpacas we'd just seen were unfortunate alpacas that hadn't been able to go out on their walk. Hence why their pen, in my opinion, wasn't drastically overcrowded like the pens you'll see in just a moment. Again, this is just my opinion, but the following alpacas that you'll see, I personally don't think had enough space. I don't think they could lie down and be comfortable. Nor do I think they can move around very easily. There's a whole gang of little ones in here. Hello. How are you? Oh, lot of you here, isn't there? Nile, 2014. Hello. Did you fall in the river eight years ago? <laughs> Hello. Might you have been nibbled by crocodiles? Oh. What are you two doing? Fighting. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Well, this one's Lee Kong, Chief 2022. Another one that's fallen in the river very recently and come a very long way since then. Did you fall in the river? What's it done? It says Lee Kong. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I like you. Hello. Hello. Hello, little. little oh, you are so friendly. You are. Have you two stopped thwacking necks into each other like giraffes yet? Mm. No, they haven't, has it? No. Are you guys chilling down there? Whoop. 
See, you just accidentally headbutted your friend because you're bickering. Oh, I think we've made friends you're with this friend one. With one aren't you? You're only a baby yet, aren't you? We've made friends with this one, Dad. Hello. Hello. I know we don't want to give them any more money, but can we have this one? <laughs> Steal it. <laughs> No, I think it'd be a bit suspicious, especially with the convertible, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to sneak one out in a convertible. You guys, seriously? You just accidentally ramming into each other. Well, not into... You're deliberately ramming into each other, but you're accidentally ramming into your friends. I know. What are you up to? Why? Okay, bum room. That one with the red holster over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that one with... Dad, you know the one of the back of the red holster you yeah. were talking about? Why does it remind me a bit of Moffish Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> Chilly down there. You okay then, mate? Hello. Hello. I'm offended. Little things, aren't they? Yeah. Dad, can we have a couple? Well, why not? Seriously, I'm being I'm being serious here, Dad. I want to start an alpaca yoga session situation. Alpac yoga. Alpaca? Honk. Nope. Is that Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, you guys. Oh. I know, I agree, honk. See? You're now getting first up between your teeth. Again, unfortunately, I feel like I have to share my opinion here. What you're about to see is a couple of ponies that were there for pony rides. And I personally saw them stood there for literally hours. I'm not joking you. Now then, each to their own. Personally, I wouldn't have horses stood staring at a blank wall for hours on end because it was hours on end. They were actually doing pony rides, which you will see in a moment. Charmwood alpacas only do pre-planned, pre-booked things, so they would have known when their customers would have been wanting pony rides. As somebody who has a horse myself, or rather a pony like this company does, I wouldn't have him standing around for ages and ages with nothing to do. It is of my opinion that this would be really frustrating for them because they're so intelligent creatures. They like to socialise, communicate and basically just have stimulus constantly. Personally, I wouldn't want my pony to have such little stimulus for such a long time. These ponies, I don't believe, had moved from their spot for the entire time I spent at Charmwood Alpacas. Yeah, hello ponies. You got your ears tangled in your lead rope there, mate. Yeah, you had just for a second, hadn't you? As you do. Hello, sweetheart. I can't walk anywhere because I've got 
Hello chickens! I wish I could get closer to you but I can't so never mind. Still haven't been able to find the donkeys. They supposedly have donkeys but I can't find them just yet. Hello! What are you doing? How are you little ones? Can we have a couple dad? Hello! Oh, I've fed that one's trying to eat that one's tag you were bickering earlier weren't you mm. hello mm. I agree you're trying to stretch out a bit more down there yeah <laughs> Why would they make really good boxers? I don't know. Why would they make really good boxers? Because they can alpaca punch. Oh. <laughs> I know, it's terrible. Hello, sheepy. I see you. Wish I could say hello to you, but never mind. Hey. Yeah, see your little nose. Yeah. So obviously the ones in here were out earlier. So many alpacas in one space. So many alpacas. Hello. 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 Are you an old of alpaca? I don't know. Oh, oh there's a you can see the tag. Come on, mister. Good boy, you're not coming out yet, boy. We've been very chatty today. Very chatty. Are you an older one? Are you one of the noble I'll call alpacas? Hello. I like the chickens. <laughs> Hello chickens. And sheep. Oh, there's some more sheep. Well, young sheep. Still lambs, I'd say. Course, we'll do. So he's just hesitant to come out, but he's absolutely not. <laughs> this is called Yarda Yarda, is it? I think that's what it is. And I've got Jack. <laughs> you scratching? You want it? Just run into a fence. You may also be wondering about the age of your alpaca. Running boys are our oldest and wisest boys up here. You are walking and they are the best, most well behaved. So they range from around 8 to 12 years old. Oh. So Hello, cool. Dad. Because the other alpaca is about 25 years. Come on, boys. Let's encourage you on the right swimming, please, guys. So when they get to the Alpaca leaders. <laughs> the alpacas have decided that we are the leaders of the alpacas. What do you think? Yeah. 
Good diamonds. Hello, yada yada. Oh, I need his weed. <laughs> You're friends now. You're friends. You're friends, little ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you sweethearts. Yeah. You like being at the front, don't you? You like being the leader. Is this your alpaca conga, Jack of Diamonds? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hey. You out strolling? Yeah? <laughs> you're 17. Are you doing your driving lessons yet? Or, well, rather, you're 16. You're nearly doing your driving lessons. Are you thinking about it? Yeah. Thought so. Going downhill now. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I like it. <laughs> What kind of car would you want? Are you like me? Do you like minis? Or are you more of a Volvo kind of alpaca? Tesla? Not really that bothered. Okay. Are you saying bye bye now, Jack? Yeah? He doesn't want to go back. Yeah, yada yada. Hello, sweetie. Love you. You're my friend now, aren't you? Yeah. I love you. Yours is younger than mine, Dad. Yeah. Can I see one more time? Because it went blurry. Yeah, 1613, yada yada. <laughs> Hello little chickens. Hello. Hello beautiful cockerel. Okay then guys. So first of all, thank you all so much for coming on the walk today. Hey chickens. Hi little fluckers. Really? Finishing my Charmwood alpaca experience, I can honestly say I would not come again. Um, if you haven't seen the video of the drama I had last time, I was literally only two or three minutes late. Now I've seen the experience in its full setup, I can honestly say I see absolutely no reason why I was denied my alpaca trek last time I went. From our start time, it took 34 minutes before the safety talk actually began and we actually started getting the alpacas. So I don't understand why somebody who is three or four minutes late, we were less than five minutes late to our appointment the first time, I can't see why that tiny delay would have stopped us from being able to take part in the alpaca walk. Nor can I see why, if my being three minutes late was that detrimental, I don't understand why I couldn't have been added on to a later time, because I made note that each time slot pen had more alpacas than was necessary. It showed me that they could have very easily fitted us in if they'd really wanted to. So I can confidently say I will not return to Charmwood Alpacas. I thought I'd end this video on a good note because there was one thing that I found really good with Charmwood Alpacas and that was when they were released into the field that they spend their time in, it was a really nice big clean open field. Thank you for watching, I'll say toodle pip beans and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.